our culture and our heritage to the Knights of St. John, Chevalier de Mar. This is very much a Maltese house. There have been three different families who've lived here since then. I'm going to show you 12 rooms on the first floor, the Bel Etage, and then we go down through the restaurant into the cellar, and you see a cistern for water, which was used as a public bomb shelter, a refuge public, uh, in the war, in the you know, Guerre Mondiale. Okay? So we go up now. We call this a Chinese room because of this oriental cabinet, the Pierre Chinois, because of this. In it, there's a collection here of balsamini. These are miniatures in molten silver, most of them 18th century, for putting balsam, something to smell nice. They were collected by the great-grandmother, so there's her photo. Some good buttons. And the round thing is a sponge box of what a sponge. You opened it and you kept yours probably for safety, exactly. And then here, there's a very early map of Valletta. Before they built the city, they planned the bastions. The only thing that's before Valletta is the star-shaped fort at the top, St. Elmo, which was the first point of attack of the Turks. And the knights, they're very brave. They fought to the last man and the last knights died in the chapel. And it took two months to take St. Elmo. And this is re the reason why the Turks failed. It was hot then, and it was on the, the summer came, and on the 8th of September, the Turks left. And we still have a festa and holiday on the 8th of September. You know, we have. And then they built Valletta for themselves. First, all the bastions, and then later they put in the streets, you know, they're all straight. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Collection of Antai on the top in Maltese bobbin lace, Don Tel Maltese. This is a nice French, this with TMCA, I'll say. And this is from Canton in China. Big reception, we call the Sala Grande. The ceiling decorated in the style of the 17th century, and the chandelier here. Yeah, this is from Bohemia, Cristal de Bohem. This is the oldest, the earliest piece we have, made obviously for the chevalier, for the knight with the eight pointed cross, a nice Flemish Madonna, and here the head of Saint John the Baptist, Tete de Jean Baptiste, which all knights have in their hearts. <laughs> Then I won't do all the pictures, but I'll show you this lady. This is a femme maltese, this with TMCA, in the 18th century, a Maltese lady, looking very grand. And there's a lot of symbolism. She's wearing very good lace, on there. The front of her dress is embroidered with gold thread. But what tells you about her are her hands. They are very, very white, with long white gloves, to show she did nothing domestic. She is 18e siècle, nouveau riche. <laughs> I think. <laughs> and a lot of fam Maltese families, like this one, the Chiveras, made a lot of money. So she's. <laughs> she's um, uh, Maltese, this is Maltese furniture, 18th century, but very influenced by France and by Italy here. This is the Grand Master, now Bon Met Actuel. Uh, who lives in Rome at Palazzo Malta, and they do all the charity. This is a portable chapel, a chapelle portatif, which often was in the bedroom. They'd open it to say their prayers at night or to baptize the baby when it was born. They had them in Sicily, but this one is Maltese, but very influenced by the fashion in Europe with chinoiserie, which was in vogue in the 18th century. Here, St. Francis Saviour, François Savier, baptizing with the shell, the sign of the missionary. He went to the east. And when it's open, it looks like this. The front comes down, the doors open, and you have a whole chapel. If you want to come in, it's, it's dedicated to San Gaetano. 
and it's wood painted to look like marble. There are nice rosaries here. The shoes the Pope used to wear, Mul du Bap. There you see at the back. There's St. Paul, St. Paul, our patron saint, St. Peter, St. Pierre with the keys of heaven, and some good chalices. This one belonged to Monsignor de Piro. He founded a missionary society. And then there are some earrings, Book Doré. And they're in the chapel because they come as a present, a cadeau, from the bishop in Gozo, because the family gave the land for a church. So the bishop, to say thank you, sent these wonderful oh, earrings. Yeah. So they're in the chapel. But they're very, very fine work. You know, the in Gozo. Yes. And it goes. Go. Go. Winter dining room, a salon manger d'hiver. And it's decorated very much in the style of the south of Italy and Sicily with this painting and the plates on the wall, very Sicilian. The furniture, too, is not Maltese. This is from Florence. The family had a house in Florence. They went there often. And this is heavy carving, you know, made of chestnut wood. These are Maltese, Maltese, Dizutiem Siet, so the slightly chinoiserie, which was the fashion, and two nicely painted family trees there. Mm -hmm. 